What happened when Harris and Trump hit Michigan on Friday? Well, let's dive right in. This day saw the arrival of Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump in the Great Lakes State, a crucial battleground that could tip the scales in the upcoming election. Michigan, with its diverse voter base, became the stage for an intense political showdown. Both candidates knew the stakes and left no stone unturned in their attempts to connect with the Michiganders. Union workers, black voters, suburban moderates, and Arab Americans, each group found itself in the spotlight, targeted by the candidates' tailored messages. Harris and Trump, two political heavyweights, were in Michigan, each aiming to sway these voters in their favor. What a day it was, as both the political heavyweights set foot in Michigan, aiming to sway the voters. As they arrived, both Harris and Trump had their game faces on, ready to take on each other through their powerful speeches. Michigan, a pivotal battleground state, was the stage for a verbal duel between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. Both candidates were armed with words, their speeches brimming with promises and plans to win over the hearts of Michigan's voters. Harris, standing tall and strong, criticized Trump's record on manufacturing. She pledged her unwavering support for labor unions, asserting that they are the backbone of Michigan's economy. Her speech reflected her commitment to workers' rights and a fair wage, emphasizing the need for strong labor policies. On the other side, Trump, with his signature confidence, focused on his plan to boost American auto manufacturing through tariffs. He promised a revitalized Detroit painting a picture of a prosperous future for Michigan's economic hub. However, his speech was not without controversy, as he was seen appearing drowsy during his address in Oakland County. This incident, coupled with a string of canceled interviews due to reported exhaustion, led to criticism from Harris's campaign. The vice president's team didn't miss a beat, highlighting Trump's fatigue as a sign of his inability to handle the rigors of the campaign trail. But the battle wasn't just about manufacturing and labor policies. The future of Detroit was a key point of contention. Harris defended the city's economic future, while Trump suggested Detroit could be a reflection of America's future under Harris's leadership. The speeches were fiery, filled with promises and policies, each trying to outdo the other in their bid to win over Michigan's heart. Michigan is home to a significant Arab-American population, and both candidates made sure they reached out to this important community. Former President Donald Trump chose to visit a campaign office in Hamtramck, a city known for its large Arab-American population. This visit, no doubt, was a strategic move to connect with this crucial demographic, emphasizing his commitment to understanding and addressing their unique needs and concerns. On the other hand, Vice President Kamala Harris took a different approach. She addressed the concerns within the Arab-American community regarding Israel's military campaigns. This move indicated her willingness to engage in dialogue about international issues that have a direct impact on the lives of Arab Americans. Harris's approach showed not only her commitment to domestic policies, but also her grasp on global matters that matter to the Arab American community. The Arab American community is an important demographic and both candidates left no stone unturned in their efforts to appeal to this group. Harris made a powerful statement in defense of Detroit, countering Trump's disparaging remarks, not just with words, but with a visible symbol, a Detroit versus everybody t-shirt that she proudly wore during a campaign event in the city. This wasn't just a fashion statement. It was a declaration of unity, a rallying cry to lift people up, not tear them down. Her message was a stark contrast to the divisive rhetoric often heard from her opponent. She emphasized the importance of solidarity, of standing together in the face of adversity. Her campaign has been focusing on outreach to black voters, particularly black men, in key battleground states like Michigan. Her defense of Detroit was a clear message to them and to all of us. It was a declaration that she stands with the people of Detroit, and by extension with all Americans. Harris's defense of Detroit was a clear message of unity and inclusivity, a stark contrast to Trump's divisive remarks. As the dust settles on their visit to Michigan, let's recap what transpired. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump took to the battleground state, making their pitches to the voters. Harris, championing for labor unions, contrasted Trump's focus on boosting American auto manufacturing. Their outreach to the Arab American community was not left unnoticed either. And who could forget Harris's spirited defense of Detroit, clad in a Detroit versus everybody t-shirt standing against Trump's divisive rhetoric, and there you have it, the highlights from Harris and Trump's visit to Michigan. Stay tuned for more updates as the election season heats up.